Virgo, welcome to your September general forecast. Now this is for couples and singles. I'll be doing it in one recording because it is really time consuming to record two different types of uh, readings, okay? So I'll be doing your general, finances, health, love oracle, and oracle cards. Plus, love spread and your sex life for the month of September for singles. Now let's see what's going to be coming your way, okay? Oops. Okay, that flipped out. Let me pick that up. All right, <laughs> lovers. Let's put that first. Is the first card. There we go. Let's see. Alright. Virgo, you want to wish for a brand new beginning. And you can't really leave a lie anymore. Well, let's take a look. Let's push this a little bit further. Okay, so that lets we can make way for the finances. Also be careful with a friend who is kind of spreading gossip right behind you or somebody who will be slandering you, okay? To the extent that it might just lead into legal battles. Okay, let's take a look at your finances for this month. There's a crowd that's been infesting you when it comes to your work. <coughs> And you're not really getting along well with everyone. It seems like you've been trying to do your best. But it seems like the people around you doesn't really... Let's say like your guts. Okay? Okay, this flowed out. Be careful for those who's been trying to conceive or is trying to have a baby. Okay? Be careful with the medicines that you've been taking. Or with all the methods that you're doing. Let's take a look. All right, Virgo. You know, for single Virgos, you are looking forward to have that potential mate or to finally meet your destiny. And you are so ready to begin a brand new life right now that you're already getting tired of the parties, you know, socializing and Facebook floridations and stuff like that you want something real and concrete this month and you're ready for it yet you're having a hard time finding the right one plus you're still entangled and you're still stuck with that person from the past that you don't even know how to reach out to okay now for those virgos who's already married or already in a relationship you're wishing for more changes and you feel like Everything has changed. You don't even know where to point your finger at, but you know that definitely there is something that has shifted and something that has changed in your partner. You just want to walk away and you want to move away and you can't really live a lie anymore. Okay. Another is there will be a gathering or there will be a uh, function or an occasion that you will be attending and definitely somebody here 
or one of those attendees will be starting up a fight or starting up a gossip or will be mocking you right in front of other people. So this might lead into legal battles because this person is very bitter and has a personal vendetta against you. Just be very careful in, uh, you know, you know, in taking your actions because I feel like you're a little bit hot tempered this month and don't try to just try to um, get a grip of yourself and your, um, you know, your patience because it, you know, um, instead of you filing for some legal actions against this person, this person might be the one who, who might take legal actions against you because uh, somebody might end up uh, going home with a broken nose, okay? Now, for singles, it's like you're overly tired of the monotonous dating scene that you've been doing and getting and meeting, and you can't really f seem to find the right one. I mean, most of the people that you've been dating, there's a football player, there's like a, a senior VP, higher executive, class, teacher, and stuff like that. But none of them really like, you know, ring a bell. You can't find that one familiar feeling that you've already felt with that person from the past. And you've been struggling to move on. You've been struggling to feel that warmth and love again and this is where you'll be making a huge 360 degree turn to finally reach out to that person even though this person had already blocked you mentally emotionally and physically but you're ready to mangle their defense now about your finances and your career you need to stay away from this bullies in your work and I feel like somebody's been creating a uh, like an entertainment for themselves at your expense okay you need to talk to your boss or you need to talk to your higher superiors about this whole matter because I feel like some somebody will be vandalizing your car while at the parking lot and or somebody will be you know piercing your tires or do something about it now you need to lay low or you need to take a vacation for a little while because this is especially for the next two weeks this is not really a very very favorable time for you now a lot of people are very jealous of you because they find you really like geek or meek and th there's this person who feels so all high and mighty and uh, they're an air sign whether it's a man or a woman this person feels like they deserve more of the reward award recognition respect and you know title that you have in your job right now but it seems like this person is too bitter and such a loser okay now the month of october things are going to start turning around in a better light and i feel like even well you will try to ask for some, you know, for some transfer to a department or to move into a new team or something like that. But I don't really feel like it's going to be granted. You still have to put up with these people around you. But one thing that you should do is that you need to pick yourself up and gain more self-respect and self-esteem. October is very, very good for you because there is a huge amount of money or there is going to be a like a very big financial opportunity that's going to be coming your way and this is the right time for you to make a brand new beginning all right you just need to work your ass off now when it comes to your health for those who's having it for those who's uh, already conceiving trying to have a family or trying to you know using some different methods just to conceive be very careful with the over-the-counter medicines that you'll be taking or try to make a research about the consequences or side effects of the medicine that you're going to be taking okay but in overall i feel like you just need to have more calcium because you need to strengthen your bones especially if you've been <clears throat> feeling a little bit lethargic and i don't know why for some reason i'm picking up strawberry and milk anyway um 
Yeah, so you need to increase your um, calcium intake because if you notice that you're already having some curvy, well, curvy back, okay? And you need to rearrange your posture as well because you've been working so hard and that you don't even notice the way you walk and the way you stand, especially your back, okay? Now, for those Virgos who is smoking or chain smoker, it's time for you to change your habit okay gum i don't really feel like it's gonna help but uh, you can just cut it down if you used to smoke one pack then or two packs a day then just try to trim it down little by little okay until that you're no longer dependent on it because your liver your kidney and your lungs is all with this suffering and i feel like you need to go and visit the doctor okay now um acid acid reflux um just try this gastric ulcer plus parasites if you go if you're gonna go to the doctor and find out that you have some problems with your pancreas gallbladder or liver i feel like it's uh, maybe you can take a second opinion and go for some parasite infection parasitic infection tests okay but in overall, I feel like you're going to make it. It's not yet too late for you. It's not that grave. And you need a vacation. You need to distress and you need to detoxify and wriggle off that, um, this, you know, that stress and uh, depression that's been blowing you and eating you up. Also, try to take some virgin olive, um, no, virgin coconut oil, okay, to heal your gastric ulcer and to cure that acid reflux plus i feel like you need to watch what you're eating and don't eat too much spicy food especially sushi and wasabi okay aside from that uh, try to be a little bit more hygienic and don't try to eat at a at any exotic restaurant at this month well don't try to eat at any exotic gathering or exotic food or exotic cuisine or restaurant this month. Um, I feel like you need to be a little bit more safe and try to strengthen your immune system. Alright, so that you'll be more resistant to other viruses. All right, let's take a look at singles. How are you going to find love? What's going to be your sex life this month? Will it be exciting, active, less, zero? Or will it be something that you need to look forward to? You know, I feel like some Virgos are having some memory problems. You need to lessen your habit of doing it yourself. Or masturbating, okay? Oversex is not really good for your brain. Alright. Let's take a look. Mm. You know, bisexual Virgos, um, be very careful with fire and air signed women, okay? And, or, by, uh, sorry, or um, the Virgo men. By the way, I'll be doing a gay reading soon for LBG, LB, yeah. well, lesbian. Lesbian, gays, and bisexuals, and transgenders. LBG, uh, ah, whatever. All 
Alright. You know, you have... You have two options. But I feel like you're still looking. It's not that you're looking for that same person, but you are kind of looking for the qualities of that person from the past. That's why you're so unable to find the right love. Or that's why you're having a hard time finding the right person for you. Because it's like your ex is your measuring cup that, okay, they're, they measure up and they're almost alike. So, okay, they can go, they can come in. But right in the middle of your dating or relationship, you always, this person, you know, the people that you, you see or the people that you're going out with, they always fail you. Now, the earth sign, the younger earth sign around 28 to 38, this person is very ambitious, wide vision, and visionary. Uh, very hardworking, but I feel like this person is going to do anything and everything just to reach their dreams and their ambitions. To the extent of using people as their ladder or their stepping stone. So be very careful about this. Now, the younger fire sign is very dramatic, very sensitive, acting like a child and such a baby. Okay, so I don't really feel like this person is an option around... This person is around 25, 26, 27 until early 30s. Now, the older fire sign. It seems like this is too defensive, much of a player, and loves playing around with people's feelings, has no regard about morals, and this person is too defensive as well. And a little bit loony. Now, the other one who's an air sign is more likely... Very frank and straightforward, logical, analytical, doesn't really believe in metaphysics, and not really into superficial stuff, okay? Always by the book. And I feel like this person is working in the government, law, paralegal, or military, or police, or something like that. And lastly, the one that is a water sign is Scorpio that is born under the year of the dog. I feel like this is the person that will be capturing your heart, but be very careful because I feel like this person is only good at the beginning. Romantic, sweet, emotional, all out at the beginning, but then when they all get what they want, then like, you know, they're just going to vanish and they will remain inconsistent. So which is the right one for you? Water sign, you will always fight. There will always, sorry, there will also be a big disappointment that's going to be coming your way right after 10 months, 10 weeks, or 10 days. And this person will also be betraying you and not really ready to settle down yet. Now, the air sign is someone that will be trying to shape up your world. But up to the last minute, you're going to notice that something's a little bit off. Okay? And you're just going to hang like a fool at the edge. Now, the other sign, the other person <clears throat> is a liar, can't make up their mind, always looking for changes. This is the fire sign. And the one, uh, the other one is more likely from your past life. But this person will be leaving you first for their dreams. But you will still be communicating. Oh, well, Virgo, it seems like you will have a lot of options this month, but I don't really see you ending up in a big relationship or a stable commitment. I've already tried to pull out all the cards that I can. Well, I feel like you need to learn something more about your life purpose and about your sex life. Drama, drama, and drama. Now, there is somebody who will be, you will have a very good chemistry with, okay, a stable chemistry, good, well, good lover, good kisser, and I feel like this person could really satisfy you, but full of drama, very sensitive, just one simple argument that this person is just going to walk away and slam the door, and it's going to take up days before the two of you could really make things up. Now, the other person is full of changes. Um, 
only good in seduction, but when it comes to the real game, they're really boring. Now, the other person is very insecure. Looks big in height, but when it comes to, you know, down there, they really lack in size. So, this is something that you will be... Uh, well, they're really good looking. Big body and everything, but there's just one tiny, eeny, meeny, miny mouse that's hiding beneath there. And I feel like you're... Well, there's a part of you that will like this person, but there's a part of you that will just, nah, I'm not going to settle for that. So, that's it for you for the single, uh, for singles. Now, let's take a look at your love oracle cards. I feel like it's the fire sign that you'll be dating, the one who's very insecure and small there. Hmm. All right, let's take a look at your love oracle cards. You know, some single Virgos will try to settle down with whoever that is, that's going to come their way. Even though the two of you, even though you know that this person is pretty much different from you. Different dialect, ethnicity, language, culture, tradition. You're going to settle for a little while and see where is this going to go. Now, there is also somebody in your past that you need to forgive and leave everything behind. And you playing around, whether you're a womanizer or whether you're a um, woman player or female player, it will be affecting your career, okay? Especially for those who keeps on doing it themselves. I'm telling you, it's not really good and healthy for your body and for your brain. Sometimes it's okay to release it, but not really all the time, like six times a day. Now, when you've called out for the right one for you, somebody came into your life and you just want to have a family. You just want to be in a serious relationship and you just want to settle down. So this person, even though it's just in your average standard, even though this is, you know, it's like, you don't really want this, or you don't really like this person so much, but you feel like, what the heck, maybe things could develop or escalate into something better, and who knows, it could, you know, I might be making a very um, good decision. But right at the end of the month, you can't really take it anymore, and it seems like you're just going to be fooling yourself, okay? Now, for those who's already in a relationship, some Virgos wants to walk away in their relationships and they really want to call it off. Especially for those who who is currently engaged and planning to, you know, to conduct their wedding soon. Now, there will be a temporary suspension in your relationship and in your communications because it seems like you need to have time to reflect and think about what do you really want and where do you really want to go. Now, the two of you are of different cultural traditions, languages, colors, ethnicity, or whatever it is. And I feel like you've been tr having or you've been having some problems, you know, putting it all together. It's especially when it comes to religion, you know. But you are still trying to... To keep your hopes up and to keep your fingers crossed that this whole thing, hoping that this is only a nightmare that when you wake up tomorrow, it's already gone. 
You also need to forgive and learn because when somebody does something to you, you tend to hold a grudge and you tend to hold something inside your inside your heart and inside yourself. Okay, you need to let it go because you are just making your baggage heavier. Plus, try to be a little bit more serious because it's already affecting your your finances and your career. You're 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 not really focusing, you're not concentrating, and you are slacking off. Now, I also feel like you need to pay attention to your children and you need to give them extra um, attention and love and affection especially when there's uh, when one of your kids is having some like tantrums breaking things slamming things or doing stuff I feel like you need to deal with them in a different way don't shout and don't try to be a little bit more gentle and use reverse psychology Okay. Now you also need to ask for some opinions of your healthy friends or people who is older than you and who is much more experienced in this field. Now you also need to learn more new things about your partner and you need to keep an open mind. That don't feel or don't assume or think that I know my partner, I know my husband, I know my wife. We've been together for this so and so years. It's too far off that he's like this, she's like that, you know, and stuff like that. People change. And there will be continuous changes that we will be incurring while we live. Okay, because of our environmental um, influence. Plus, you also need to make an effort and fight off your trust issues. You also need to let your hair down a bit and relieve your honeymoon stage. Because this is, I feel like, what's been missing in your relationship as well. Now, as for your oracle cards, remain flexible. When there are some things that you need to bend, change, and that you have to, you know, replace. Even our old attitude, our old habits, and old behaviors wears out. So you need to try a different approach in solving a problem, dealing with a person or your children, and putting more solution into it. And you will see, okay, you will see more changes. So try to be, not because that you're used to do whatever it is, and not because I'm not like that, I'm not like this. You have to be a little bit more open-minded and be flexible. Time is of the essence. There is a very crucial decision that you have to make so that you can gain your peace of mind. Now, nutrition, if you're looking for a, like a job change or if you're trying to ask what is the right job for me, you are so, well, you're good in kitchen and you're good in experimenting stuff. So I feel like you can share some of your culinary skills and culinary talents, even though you feel like you're not really talented and some, sometimes whatever you cook can it be eaten, it can get better, okay? And I feel like you will also be, you can also make a career out of this. Well, there is a recipe that you will be discovering soon. I also feel like it's time for you to get a good mentor for you to show your way and for you to show your, you know, for you to show your path. Well, I feel like you really want to have some children or you really want to have a family and this is what really makes you and you feel like time is also ticking on you. You're not getting any younger. Body work. Either you're, you you want to get a tattoo, you want to get a like energy healing, Reiki, or cup massage. You really need it this month. Plus, I feel like you need to go and participate, especially for singles, for some environmental group or volunteering. Travel if you're looking for a job change. Look for a job that requires travel or in the travel industry. All right. So anyway, that's it for you for this month. Virgo, if you want to talk to me live on the phone or live video call, just go and visit me at my website at sophiaangel.net. And please bear with me for a little bit because I am trying to update my website. I will be writing about the feng shui stuff starting this month. And... I will be giving more tips, plus watch at the end of the video, okay, about the auspicious and inauspicious um, directions this month. 
Feng shui has a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of importance in our lives, and it's not just all about putting symbols and statues and stuff like that. You may approach me for that, okay? Anyway, um, blessings to you, and have a great month of September.